This is Katherine Schmer, and we are doing a video on the topic of curvature and normal vectors of a curve. In this example, we're going to practice taking the unit tangent of a curve, and from that, finding the unit principal normal vector and the curvature. So our example says find T, N, and kappa for the space curve r of t equals 2t plus 3i plus 5 minus t squared j. So remember, by definition, the unit tangent vector capital T of lowercase t equals the velocity divided by the magnitude of velocity. So what we want to do is find these pieces. Velocity, v of t, equals the derivative of position. So the derivative of 2t plus 3 gives me 2i, and the derivative of 5 minus t squared j gives me minus 2tj. So velocity is 2i minus 2tj, and now I want the magnitude. So the magnitude of velocity equals the square root of 2 squared plus quantity negative 2t quantity squared. This is equal to the square root of 4 plus 4t squared, and I can factor out the 4 from both of those pieces and then take the square root of it. So I get 2 square root of 1 plus t squared. So that's my simplified magnitude of velocity, and now I put that into the formula for unit tangent. So I have capital T of lowercase t equals 2 over 2 square root of 1 plus t squared quantity times i plus negative 2t over 2 square root of 1 plus t squared quantity j. Now the 2's cancel, so I get the unit tangent vector capital T of lowercase t equals 1 over square root of 1 plus t squared i plus negative t over square root of 1 plus t squared j. So we're just doing our algebra and canceling as much as possible. So there's my unit tangent vector. So from that, I need to find the unit normal vector. Remember that the unit normal vector, capital N of lowercase t, equals the derivative of the unit tangent divided by the magnitude of the derivative of the unit tangent. So this is where the algebra gets a little tricky because we have our unit tangent is 1 over square root of 1 plus t squared i plus negative t over square root of 1 plus t squared j. And this is kind of tricky to do the derivative and take the magnitude of the derivative. But that's what we need to do to find the unit normal. So I'll do the i component first. I have d dt of 1 over quantity 1 plus t squared to the 1 half in the denominator. And the reason I'm writing it this way is so that I can apply my power rule as opposed to having a square root. It's easier for me to see when it's written to the one-half power. Now this is the same as the derivative of 1 plus t squared to the negative one-half. So remember if it's in the denominator you can bring it up and make it a negative exponent. So now I have to use my regular old chain rule for um, taking a derivative. Bring the power down in front, negative one-half times one plus t squared to the negative three-halves. I decrease the power by one, times the derivative of the inside function, which is 2t. The 2t is the derivative of one plus t squared. So now I simplify. The twos are going to cancel. And remember, this was the chain rule, f prime u times u prime. So the twos cancel and I get negative t divided by the quantity 1 plus t squared quantity to the 3 halves. So there's my i component of the derivative of the unit tangent. 
Now I need to take the derivative of the j component. This one is a little messier because I can't just use the chain rule, I have to also use the quotient rule. So I have d dt of negative t over the quantity 1 plus t squared quantity to the 1 half. And remember my quotient rule says that if I'm taking the derivative of f over g, so f over g prime, that's equal to f prime g minus fg prime over g squared. Some people remember it as low d high minus high d low over low squared. So the derivative of the top function is negative 1, because my top function is negative t. The derivative of the bottom function, I have to use the chain rule, so I'll have, um, well first of all I'll have my bottom function 1 plus t squared quantity to the 1 half multiplied by the f prime and then minus negative t the top function and now for the derivative of the bottom function I use the chain rule 1 half times 1 plus t squared to the negative 1 half times 2t the derivative of the inside function and this is all over the denominator squared now squaring a one-half power will just make it to the first power, so 1 plus t squared in the denominator. So now um, I want to simplify this as much as possible because we know we're going to have to take the magnitude. So I want to um, cancel out those twos and I also want to get rid of that negative one-half power that's in the numerator. So to get rid of that what I'm going to do is multiply both the top and the bottom of my function by 1 plus t squared quantity to the positive 1 half so that when I multiply those like bases I add their exponents and the exponents will basically um, cancel out to a 0. So I multiply by 1 plus t squared to the 1 half over 1 plus t squared to the 1 half. And this gives me for the first term, negative 1 times 1 plus t squared. If I add the exponents 1 half and 1 half, I get the first power. So I don't have to write the first power. I can just leave it as 1 plus t squared plus t squared. So my double negative became a positive, And the 1 plus t squared is to the 0 power. So that's just a 1, so I don't have to write times 1. I can just write my t squared. Now the denominator becomes 1 plus t squared quantity to the 3 halves. Simplify, cancel out your t squareds in the numerator, and we get negative 1 over 1 plus t squared quantity to the 3 halves. There's our j component of the derivative of the unit tangent. So now we have t, capital T prime of lowercase t equals negative t over 1 plus t squared quantity to the 3 halves i plus negative 1 over 1 plus t squared quantity to the 3 halves j. So here's our t prime of t and we need the magnitude. That's the next part of our equation because the normal principal unit normal is t prime of t over the magnitude of t prime of t. So I have the magnitude of t prime of t equals the square root of each component squared. So t squared over 1 plus t squared to the third power. So I'm just squaring the i component, both top and bottom, uh, and putting it underneath the square root. Now I'll do the same thing with the j component. So I have still under the square root, plus 1 over 1 plus t squared quantity cubed. So just squared the i component and squared the j component, added them together underneath the radical. 
Now they have the same denominator, so I can combine the like terms, you know, get the t squared plus 1 on top over 1 plus t squared quantity cubed. Now notice the numerator cancels out one factor of the denominator, so this becomes the square root of 1 over 1 plus t squared quantity squared. Now I take the square root and the square root and square cancel each other out. So I get 1 over 1 plus t squared is the um, magnitude of the derivative of the unit tangent. Okay, let's put it together. Our principal unit normal equals capital T prime of lowercase t over the magnitude of capital T prime of lowercase t. So that's negative t over 1 plus t squared quantity to the 3 halves. And dividing by the magnitude 1 over 1 plus t squared is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal 1 plus t squared over 1. So I'll do that. So times 1 plus t squared over 1, i, plus negative 1 over 1 plus t squared quantity to the 3 halves times the reciprocal of the magnitude, so times 1 plus t squared over 1, j. And now just simplify. The 1 plus t squared in the numerator will cancel out one factor of the 1 plus t squared in the denominator. So I get the principal unit normal vector, capital N of t, equals negative t divided by the square root of 1 plus t squared, i, plus negative 1 over the square root of 1 plus t squared, j. There's my principal unit normal vector. So lots of algebra, but Working through the algebra, you should get some nice cancellations so that you end up with a not too messy result in the end. Now, the third part of the question asks for curvature. And we know the curvature, kappa, equals 1 over the magnitude of velocity times the magnitude of the unit tangent. So we have all of these pieces, and we just have to put it together. So kappa equals 1 over 2 square root of 1 plus t squared, that was the magnitude of velocity, times 1 over 1 plus t squared, that was our magnitude of the derivative of the unit tangent. So we put that together, and we get 1 over 2 times 1 plus t squared to the 3 halves. So there's my curvature. 1 divided by 2 times the quantity 1 plus t squared quantity to the 3 halves. So just remember as you're working through these you always find your unit tangent first by doing velocity over magnitude of velocity. Then find your unit normal by doing the derivative of the unit tangent divided by the magnitude of the derivative of the unit tangent. And then last, curvature, 1 over the magnitude of velocity times the magnitude of the derivative of the unit tangent.